Today's workout is a complete upper body workout. The only equipment you need today would be a set of dumbbells. When you're ready, let's get started. For the one arm row, you will need a dumbbell. If you have a bench, grab that. If not, you can use your leg. You can hold, put one hand on your quad while the other arm does the work. But if you have a bench, that works great too. That's what I'm gonna be using today. So one knee on the bench, if you have one, one hand supporting you on the bench. The other arm is dangling, it's gonna do the work. Abs are in nice and tight. Keep your back as flat as you can. Let's go, pull the weight up. Squeeze the shoulder blades, bring it down. There's one. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do two more. Last one. Nice job. Now we're gonna switch sides. Same kind of stance, knee on the bench, hand supporting, one arm dangles, abs are tight. Let's go, bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job. We're gonna rest it out. So drop your weight, sit down if you can, walk around the room, whatever you wanna do. We're just gonna take a quick break and before we do that again. So remember, abs are always, always nice and tight. We're really pulling the shoulder blades together as we pull the arm, the dumbbell up. So when you're ready, let's get back into position. Knee on a bench or chair, whatever you have. One arm's dangling, abs are tight, bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job. Let's switch sides. Get into position, abs are tight, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one, nice job. Now, if you need a longer break, go ahead and hit pause. Otherwise, we're gonna keep moving. So we're gonna switch directions. One more time through. Abs are tight. Bring the weight up, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, two more. Last one. Nice job, let's switch sides. Get into position. Abs are tight, bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and here's 10. Nice job. And rest it out. For the seated bicep curl, again, you'll need something to sit on. You'll need two dumbbells. Now, if you don't have a bench handy, no worries, just do these standing. 
seated or standing, we're gonna sit up nice and tall. We want our back nice and flat. Dumbbells go down by our sides. The back of your hand is facing either your bench or the wall behind you. And we're gonna curl it up. Remember, elbows always stay close to our side for the bicep curl. Abs are tight, let's go. One, squeezing at the top. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job. We're gonna rest it out. So take a deep breath. We're gonna do that two more times through. So when you're ready, arms down by your side, sitting or standing up nice and tall, abs are tight, let's curl. One, elbows by your side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job, let's rest that out. Again, shake your arms out if you need to. Take a deep breath. We're gonna do it one more time through. So when you're ready, arms in position, abs are tight, back is nice and flat. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job and rest it out. For the chest press, you need two dumbbells. So I'm gonna do this on the floor. You could also do this on your workout bench if you have one. Let's lay all the way back, feet on the floor, abs tight, back presses into the floor, arms are out wide. We're gonna take the weights up to the center, back down, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one, nice job, bring your weights in, drop your weights, roll it up. We're just gonna rest for a couple of moments. If you need a longer break, remember, hip pause. So when you're ready, come on back, grab your dumbbells, let's lay back on the floor, feet on the floor, Arms out wide, back presses into the floor. Take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job. Bring your weights down, roll it up. Take a quick break. We're gonna do that one more time through. So when you're ready, grab your dumbbells. Let's lay on back. Arms out wide, back presses to the floor. Take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Bring your weights in, roll it up, and rest it out. For the chest fly, you'll need two dumbbells. We're gonna lay all the way back on the floor, feet on the floor, arms go up, Back presses into the floor, abs are tight. We're gonna open the arms up wide, 
keeping the elbows bent. Let's go. Out and up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job, bring your weights in. Let's roll it up. We're gonna, again, we're gonna take a little bit of a break and when you're ready, we're gonna roll all the way back. Feet on the floor, back presses into the floor. Arms go up. Let's take it out, let's go. Out, and there's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job, bring your weights in, roll it up. Take a break. We're gonna do that one more time through. Deep breath. When you're ready, grab your weights. Let's lay back on the floor. Feet on the floor, back presses into the floor, abs are tight, arms go up, let's go. Out, there's one. Remember, elbows are slightly bent. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one, nice job. Bring your weights in, roll it up, and rest it out. No equipment is needed for the Superman. You're going to feel this really working the lower portion of your back. So I don't want it to be out painful, but you will feel it. So we're just gonna raise up however far is comfortable. So you monitor how comfortable or uncomfortable it is. So we're gonna get all the way down the floor on our bellies. I want feet on the floor, arms behind you, palms face the ceiling, and you're going to reach towards the back of the room with your hands as you lift your chest off the floor. It's a very small movement. We're gonna do 10 of these, let's go. Up, squeeze, and down. Think about squeezing your butt as well, and down, there's two. Up, there's three. And four. That's five. Six. Seven. Eight, two more. Last one, and down. Now you can just stay here, rest it out, get, find a nice comfortable position to lay in. We're gonna do that two more times through. Remember, you don't have to go up very far. So do what is comfortable for you, but it's normal to feel in your back. We are strengthening our lower back with this one. All right, back into position, feet on the floor, arms back, palms face the ceiling, Remember, you're reaching towards the back of the room. Let's go up, squeeze, and down. You're squeezing the lower back. You're squeezing your glutes. There's two, three. You're reaching with your hands. There's four, five, six, seven, Eight, really reach, nine, and last one, 10. Nice job, let's just rest it out. Again, find that comfortable position. Take a little bit of a break here. We're gonna do it one more time through. So when you're ready, remember feet are touching the floor, arms are, finger point, fingertips are trying to reach 
to, to the belt wall behind you. Take it up. One, and down. Two, and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, one more. Nice job. And rest it out. For the shoulder press, you can do this either seated or standing. We are going to do the single, single, double. So a single, single, double will count as one. We're going to do it five times. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's put our arms into position. Arms go parallel to the floor. Let's go. Single, single, double, that's one. Single, single, double, that's two. Keep going. Three. There's four. Single, single, double, that's five. Let's rest it out. Nice job. You probably noticed that it as we're doing this, you're holding your arms up for quite a while. So you might see one arm or both start to fall. That's normal. Just try to keep them parallel to the floor. All right. So sitting or standing nice and tall, arms go back into position, parallel to the floor. Let's go. Single, single, double. That's one single, single. There's two. Keep going. There's three, single, single. There's four, last one, double. And let's rest it out, nice job. I'm gonna guess your arms are getting a bit tired. That's a hard one. We're gonna do it one more time through. So make sure you take enough of a break because I know your arms are getting tired. Again, let's try to keep them parallel to the floor as much as we can. When you're ready, let's go. So let's get your arms into position, parallel, take it up. Single, single, double, that's one. Single, single, double, that's two. Keep going. Here's three. And four, one more time. Single, single, double, great job. Rest it out, nice job. For the shoulder fly, I'm going to recommend no weights. After you do a set or two, if you feel strong and want to add some light dumbbells, feel free. But I'm thinking body weight is all you're going to need. So we're going to stand up nice and tall. The goal is to get our forearm all the way to our elbow to touch. You may be more like this. That's okay. I just want you to keep working on getting the elbows together. We're also going to keep our arms parallel to the floor. So they come together, squeeze, and out. All right, so when you're ready, again, please, no dumbbells to begin with. Standing up nice and tall, abs are tight. Bring your arms parallel to the floor. We're gonna squeeze arms together in the center. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Nice job. Let's rest it out. So drop me a comment. Let me know how you're doing with that one. Are your elbows coming together? Are your arms sinking down? Can you keep them parallel? How hard is it to do the shoulder fly? I find this one to be very, very difficult. So maybe that's just me. All right, so we're gonna go start again. Arms are up. We're gonna squeeze them together in the center. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job, let's rest it out. We're gonna do that one more time through. So standing up nice and tall. When you're ready, arms go up parallel to the floor. Let's bring them together in the center. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job and rest it out. You'll need two dumbbells for the tricep press. We're gonna lay all the way back on the floor, feet on the floor, arms stay really super close to your body, back presses into the floor. We're gonna press the weights up, bring them back down. As you come down, you're gonna slide against your body. That's how close I want your arms to be. When you're ready, let's go up and down. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. There's nine, one more, up, bring it down. Nice job, drop your weights, roll it up. We're gonna take another quick break. When you're ready, Remember, hit that pause if you need to rest a little bit longer. So when you're ready, grab your weights. We're gonna go right back, do it again. Feet on the floor, back presses into the floor, arms close to your body. Let's press it up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Take it up, bring it down. Nice job. Drop your weights, let's roll it up. Take another quick break, and then we're gonna go back and do that one more time through. So when you're ready, grab your dumbbells, lay back on the floor, back presses into the floor, arms close to your side. Press it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Nice job. Bring your weights down, roll it up, and rest it out. For the seated single arm tricep extension, you can do this one seated or standing, whichever you prefer. We're gonna sit or stand nice and tall, abs are tight. One dumbbell, one arm goes straight up. The goal here is to keep this elbow as close to your ear as you can. You will have a tendency for this to happen and to come out here. Really focus on keeping it as close to your head as you can. To do that, I like to use my opposite hand to hold on to that tricep area to keep it close to my ear. Then we're gonna drop this dumbbell slowly behind our head. We're gonna do 10 of these, let's go. Take it down, lots of control, down and back up. Everyone's gonna have a little bit different range of motion, so don't worry about how deep you go. There's three, four, five, six, keep going, seven, eight, let's do two more, one more, nice job, bring your arm down, we're gonna switch arms, so take the other arm straight up, keep it again close to your ear, 
Other hand holds onto that tricep to keep your arm close. Take it down, nice and slow. Lots of control, down, bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job, bring your arm down. Let's rest it out. Now you may need to hit pause on this one. We know we're working the tricep, that's a relatively small muscle. So it needs to recover before we go and do another set, all right? So please feel free, hit pause, walk around, get a drink, and then come on back. All right, so when you're ready, sitting, standing, nice and tall, arm goes straight up, arm close to your ear, opposite arm holds on to that tricep, bring it down, down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one, nice job, bring the weight down. We're gonna switch arms. So when you're ready, take it up. Sitting tall, abs tight, let's go. Bring it down, elbow by your ear, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job, bring your weights in. Let's rest it out. Again, take a deep breath. This is a hard one, at least I think it is. Drop me a comment, let me know. Do you think this is a hard one? All right, we're gonna do it one more time through. So when you're ready, let's take that weight up. Let's go. Down, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job, bring that weight down. We're gonna do it the other side, last time through. So when you're ready, take that arm up. Let's go. Down. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Ten. Bring your weights down. Nice job, rest it out. Great job. If you enjoyed today's workout, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and leave me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do that now so that you can continue building muscle and creating a body you love. I'll see you in the next video.